In this session, we're going to look at how we can use the image library. So pressing the icon on the screen, we can now search in here by method. We have the option to sort by date. We can also search different folders on the system or on the network. Once you get to the destination folder, you'll see a nice little thumbnail here. So it'll preview the image. We can click on that. That's going to give us more information about how the image capture was performed. We can then open that up. And then we can look at each channel in turn. So let's say we want to look at the Psi 3 channel. We have the option to invert that. We can do some editing by cropping the area or rotating. We can go to the contrast tool here. Maybe it's going to help us see a little bit more what's going on. So we can adjust the contrast using the, the tool here, which is going around the image histogram. This will affect the JPEG, but it will not change the raw data of the TIFF image. We can also go to the intensity tool. When you use that, you have the ability to slide over a particular region of the image, and then we can check the intensity levels. So here we can see for the Psi 3 channel, we had a maximum of 23,477 counts. Any changes you want to make, you can press the Save button down here. In this case, we're going to cancel. We also have the option down here. You can see that we can copy and move images to different folders on the system or onto the network. We also have the option to delete an image if we decide we don't want to keep that anymore.